Terminal Illness, page 36. Quote, we grasp the limitless strength provided for us through our daily prayer and surrender as long as we keep faith and renew it. Close quote. Basic text. Members of our fellowship may face a terminal illness diagnosis at some point in their recovery. Most likely, those who receive this information will have feelings of fear, despair, and anger. We try not to let our feelings of doubt and hopelessness eclipse our hard-earned faith in a higher power. Our literature says that when we lose focus on the here and now, our problems become magnified unreasonably. With this in mind, we strive to live just for today. We learn in recovery that when we share about our pain, we gain some relief. We reach out to our sponsor and NA friends who love and support us unconditionally. We find meetings that offer a safe place for us to share our feelings. Page 37. When we share with others, we break through the isolation of our disease. We gather courage from the love and empathy of those who care for us. Our experience shows that we can maintain our recovery while living with a terminal disease. Quote, when I first heard my diagnosis, I ran through a range of emotions. It's not fair. I already have the disease of addiction. How much should one person have to deal with? During this time, I became angry with my higher power, feeling that I had gotten clean only to die. At the same time, I felt guilty, like I had no right to feel all these things. I felt as if I should have been grateful that it wasn't worse. Close quote. Our program of recovery depends on daily maintenance. Even with a vigilant recovery program, powerlessness can be a stumbling block for us. We remind ourselves how recovery has taught us to live just for today and leave the results up to our higher power. When we face situations beyond our control, we are especially vulnerable to the disease of addiction. Our self-destructive defects may surface and we will want to apply spiritual principles. The basic text reminds us that self-pity is one of the most destructive defects, robbing us of all positive energy. We strive to live just for today. The people we surround ourselves with can encourage our surrender and help us break through pain and resentment. Page 38. We may choose to distance ourselves from those who pity us and thrive on the crisis rather than the solution. Instead, we seek out the company of other recovering addicts who bring out the best in us, encourage us to move forward, and enhance our spiritual program and our life. We remind ourselves that we are living with a terminal illness. Facing the reality of our lives when we are hurting is a service we do for ourselves. We can accept the love of our support network in the here and now without fear of tomorrow. Our, experiences, our experience shows that continuing our participation in daily recovery through meetings and phone conversations helps us feel connected. We remember the important principle we learn in NA of living just for today. By placing the emphasis on life, we can appreciate the day, not rob ourselves of the precious present, and remain free from worry about what the future may hold. Quote, at 22 years clean, I was diagnosed with terminal illness. Amazingly, through working the program of NA, I instinctively knew what to do. Call my sponsor, call my best friends, and talk to other addicts about having to take medications. I received so much help and reassurance from other addicts that I knew my recovery was first. Close quote. Our commitment to our program of recovery in Narcotics Anonymous offers serenity through difficult times. We gain courage from the application of the spiritual program, principles of the program. We come to understand the powerlessness and surrender of our first step on a whole new level. The need for faith and sanity that we discovered in step two is valuable to us now. Page 39. By renewing our commitment to turn our will and our lives over to our higher power's care, we open a channel that allows this power to work in our lives. Prayer and meditation are powerful tools that can offer comfort and guidance. The steps are vital in leading us toward acceptance. Through this process, we prepare ourselves to handle the reality of our illness with all the spiritual strength and hope our recovery can provide. We gradually learn to allow for the changes in our body, mind, and spirit. Quote, we know that whenever the day bring, whatever the day brings, God has given us everything we need for our spiritual well-being. It is all right for us to admit powerlessness because God is powerful enough to help us stay clean and enjoy spiritual progress. God is helping us to get our house in order. Basic text. Close quote. Basic text. We have many things to consider when we face a terminal illness. Our health care providers, our sponsor, and our NA friends can help us. Often with a terminal illness, members need mind and mood-altering medication. We avoid the tendency to judge ourselves harshly, and we seek out the support of addicts who accept us and love us for exactly who we are. We may not realize how destructive judgment can be until we experience it for ourselves. We don't allow ourselves to be isolated by feelings of fear and inadequacy. Judgment is not therapeutic, but empathy is. We remain engaged in the process of our recovery by going to meetings, working our steps, and reaching out.
When we honestly accept and try to be ourselves, we are able to gain freedom from fear and self-pity. Page 40. We remind ourselves that we are perfectly imperfect human beings doing our best to live with terminal illness. In quiet moments of meditation, we may also find courage and answers we are seeking within ourselves. We can use this time to make decisions and plan for times when we may be unable to make our wishes known. Some members may choose to visit their regular meetings to say goodbye to the group. Others will find it comforting to invite their core group of NA friends to bring a meeting to their home or hospital room. The company of other addicts who know us well is a source of comfort and strength. We have found that a strong foundation in recovery prepares us to face all phases of our life with a measure of dignity and grace. Summary point number one. We are living with a terminal illness in recovery. We accept the love of our NA friends in the here and now without fear of tomorrow. Summary point number two. Prayer and meditation are powerful tools. We prepare ourselves to handle the reality of our illness with all the spiritual strength and hope our recovery can provide. Summary point number three. We avoid the tendency to judge ourselves harshly and don't allow ourselves to be isolated by feelings of fear and inadequacy. Judgment is not therapeutic, but empathy is.